Are you here? We're almost ready. Hear the music. Kids. Stan, wh what are you wearing? You don't recognize me? Well, you look like Super sh Shark. Super Shark? Yep, I'm Super Shark because I'm super fast and my teeth are super sharp. Okay, well now I'm afraid to feed you. Are you ready? Yep. Alright, here we go. I wish you guys were here because, yeah, I I'm worried about my fingers. You don't need the toothpick? Yeah, good. We're good. Okay, so how come you're dressed up as a superhero today, Stanley? It has to do with our story. Oh, okay. Are you ready for the story or are we going to do something else? Well, first? I thought we would practice our books of the Bible. Mm, Old Testament or new? Well, we've been working all this year on the Old Testament, so I thought that's the one we would work on. Are we going to do the whole thing? Um, yeah, I think so. Because I'm super smart. See my mask? <laughs> I see. So if um, I want to be super smart and know all of them, I have to wear the mask? Mm, yeah. You want to borrow it? Um, no, I, I'm good. You, can, you better keep it. But you got to help me, though. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Are you ready? Yep. Genesis, Genesis Exodus, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel, 1 Kings, 2 Kings, 1 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi. Good job. Wow. You guys did really good. Thanks. We've been practicing. Good. Have you guys been practicing? Because when I see you, I want you to be able to tell me all the books of the Old Testament. That'll be awesome. You will. Is it time for our story yet? Yep. Okay, well, you know what I need. Hmm, let me see if I can find it. <clears throat> Thank you. All right, I got the underwater Bible right here. So, where are we looking? What are we looking for today? Matthew! Matthew is in the New Testament. Yep. So remember, we open in the middle, and we get to the book of Psalms. And then we go ahead, right? Because we want to get to the New Testament. And the first book of the New Testament is, do you know what it is? Matthew. That's right, it's Matthew. I am in e Ezekiel. Is that still the Old Testament? Yep. Now I'm in Daniel. Is that the Old Testament? Yep. Hmm. Hosea. Yep. Micah. Old. Zephaniah. Not new. Matthew, I found it. Okay, what chapter? Remember, the chapter number is the big number, and the first chapter number is the little one. 16. 16. I am in chapter 6, right here. So, do I go ahead or back up? To I'm ahead. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 17. Wait, what was it again? I forgot. 16. 16. Oh, I have to go back. Back up. 16. All right. So, I found verse chapter 16. Now I need the little number. Is the verse number? What verse? 13. 13. 
13. That's on the next page. 13, right here. 13 through what? 13 through 20. Through 20, all the way down to there. There's the 20. So, you can have someone read it to you later, but Stan and Shirley are going to tell us a story right now. Today, we're going to learn about the key to getting into heaven. I know what that is. You know what what is? I know what the key is. Well, it's not the key. It's a superpower. I'm a super sharp, so I can get into heaven. I don't think so. What do you mean you don't think so? <laughs> I, I really I don't think so. Hmm. <clears throat> no. No. So what is the key? What do keys do? Mm, they open things. They unlock things. If the front door to your house is locked, how do you unlock it? With a key. Can you use your mom's car key to unlock the door? No. Can you... Maybe you could run over to your neighbors and use their house key. It doesn't work that way. No. Mm -hmm. That's right. The only right key, only the right key will unlock the door. That's the same thing Jesus said about the key that would unlock the door to heaven. Only the right key will open the door to heaven. Do you think one of these is the right key? Um, no. Those look like Miss Lewis's car keys. Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> Did you know that after Adam and Eve sinned and disobeyed God, God locked the door to heaven. He did this because God could never let sin or anything bad into heaven. But then God promised that one day he would send a hero and king to unlock that door for us. How was Jesus able to unlock that door? He came to earth to take away people's sins so they could be forgiven. And Jesus, God's promised son, will unlock the door only for people who believe in him. Now listen closely because I need you to point to yourself. Every time you hear me say the word you during the lesson. Can you do that? Let's try it. It is important to know that whenever you read the Bible or hear lessons from the Bible, Jesus is talking to you. Let's listen to what Jesus wants you to know. One day Jesus asked his disciples, who do people say I am? The disciples said, some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, still others say Jeremiah or one of the prophets. Jesus asked, what about you? Who do you say I am? Jesus was asking his disciples, but Jesus also asked each one of us the same question. Who would you say Jesus is? Peter stood up and boldly said, Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus was pleased. He said, yes, only my father could have told you that. Peter, you are like a rock. What do you think Jesus meant by calling Peter a rock? Being a rock for God is doing what is right. When your friends want you to do something you should not do, boldly tell them no. Then you are being bold for Jesus. Wow, that was a nice thing for Jesus to call Peter a rock. Then Jesus said, Peter, I will build my church on you. What do you think Jesus meant by that? Jesus' church is not a building at all. No, he said that the people are the church. Peter was one of the first people to boldly say that Jesus is God. And so he was one of the first to be part of Jesus' church. I'm part of Jesus' church too. Do you believe in Jesus? Then you are a part of Jesus of his church. You are bold like Peter when you believe in Jesus and tell others about him. Do you remember the one and only way Jesus will open the door to heaven? When you believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, that is when Jesus unlocks and opens heaven's door for you. See how often you can boldly say that Jesus is God. He is the only way to heaven. And you, like Peter, can be bold and tell everyone. So people thought Jesus was John the Baptist, Elijah, or another prophet. But Peter said Jesus is God. Peter made Jesus happy. Jesus said that Peter was a rock. 
Jesus said that he would build his church on that rock. And Jesus is the key to heaven. For people to enter heaven, people must believe in Jesus. What do you think about that, Miss Carolee? Wow, I think that's awesome. I think maybe we should give some of the kids a chance to see if they want to go to heaven and find that key. Should we pray together? Yeah, we should. Dear Jesus, we admit that we make mistakes and that we're sinners and we're sorry. We're sorry for the bad things that we've done. We thank you that, Father God, that you sent Jesus to be the key for us that unlocks the, the door so that we can be with you. We ask that you would come and be our Savior, Jesus. In your name, amen. Amen. See you next time, kids. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.